you're not looking at the panorama shot with a super wide angle lens. When you view these pictures from right to left, you're actually looking backward in time. When I first saw it, I was like, I thought it was art. I mean, I thought it was a painting. I didn't actually realize it was a photograph. This is a special camera makes reality seem surreal. The price tag, in case you may be wondering, reached $86,000. Its owner, J. Mark Johnson, is a creative brain behind what he called space-time photography. I make photographs that are timelines. They're smooth, left-to-right time, timelines like uh, an electrocardiogram or a seismograph is a timeline. When an object passes by the camera, it captures the movement frame by frame in a slit and visualizes the passage of time. So the width of the photo is proportional to time length, but not physical distance. So this man was doing Tai Chi. You can see his hand moving. He's just standing still, but his arms are moving. And this is as he moved his arms over time. It may take some time for you to comprehend the stories these abstract photographs are telling. But Johnson did this on purpose. As the visual effect director for The Matrix and Titanic, he wants them to be attractive and visually compelling. They're challenging. They're kind of hard to uh, understand. The brain doesn't get them, so they're challenging when you look at them. You think this is a real photograph, but something is wrong. Johnson's work was the face of Photo LA this year and is now setting up three huge canvas for Cyclavia right across the LACMA. Johnson has always been trying to turn normal scenes from daily life into artwork. And to do that, you have to be familiar with what is already known, and, you take, and, and then you try to take something familiar and do something a little unfamiliar with it. What is the thing makes a photograph stand out of the crowd? All you need is a great eye, and great imagination with that eye. This is Li Hao Yang reporting from Los Angeles, Allenberg TV News.